Democrat in the House, Minority Whip, Steny Hoyer of Maryland. He's in all sorts of gangs uh, on various <laughs> things. So, uh, and I know you're involved in a lot of these back channel negotiations. Let me start with the basics here. Are you going to help Republicans pass their continuing resolution? Are you going to help whip votes for them on this or not? Uh, no, we're not, Chuck. Uh, okay. We've been kicking the can down the road too often. Uh, in September, all 183 Democrats that voted voted to extend for 90 days uh, the government funding so that we could negotiate and reach agreements. That time was wasted. We didn't get there. Uh, I've, I agree with, frankly, Mark Meadows, who said it's uh, all this does is kick the can down the road one more time. So uh, the Republicans are in charge. They have the majority. They have enough votes uh, uh, if they want to simply not agree, have agreements with us, uh, they can move uh, on their own. And, and that's what they've chosen to do. Is there any scenario where you'll help Republicans do this, the five-day shutdown scenario if they needed votes? Uh, look, we're, we're in the place where we have been asking for 120 days uh, to get agreement, to get agreement on the caps so we know how much money we're going to spend in 2018. We're a third of the way into 2018. We still don't know what the expenditure level is going to be. Uh, we want to see uh, the CHIP bill pass with other health extenders as well, including the community health centers. They're, they're, they're a whole, and they need to be considered as a whole. Uh, we want to see a disaster relief pass. Uh, that's not in there. So is there a way? Yes, there is a way to sit down and reach agreements, compromise. But uh, Paul Ryan has uh, uh, all this year decided to go his own way in a partisan way. And uh, fine, uh, nothing we can do about that. But if you're going to do that, you got to do it with your votes. What are you going to tell your constituents, though, many of whom are federal government workers? You, you're, you have a district not far from the nation's capital. A lot of federal I have government workers. A lot workers. of federal workers. Yes. Yeah. So 30 days. What? So what's wrong with waiting another 30 days? I could argue politically, Congressman, that actually Democrats have more leverage in 30 days. The debt ceiling, uh, DACA's expiration is is suddenly a lot closer, uh, and the burden suddenly. And we know Republicans can't raise the debt ceiling on their own? Uh, I'm, I'm not going to vote against raising the debt ceiling. Raising the debt ceiling has extraordinary, or not raising it, has extraordinary uh, right. uh, consequences. Uh, the Republicans uh, uh, have irresponsibly voted against that on a regular basis. I have no intention of voting against that. Uh, but uh, I want to responsibly uh, move forward. Uh, frankly, you say, well, you could be better able to get agreement. We've been asking for agreements, and the agreement we've asked for is the one that Ryan entered into for f the last four years, and that is equal uh, increases in spending for domestic and non uh, and, and defense spending. Uh, that's what he uh, put forward. That's what he agreed to with Senator Murray. That's all we're asking for. Uh, if he does that, uh, maybe we can move forward. If he gives us uh, uh, some ability to uh, make sure the dreamers are safe, uh, maybe we can move forward. If he does something on the health care side with CHIP and, and the community health centers and other health extenders, maybe we can move forward. But there has been no movement on those for 120 days. What makes us think that another 16, 20 days mm -hmm. is going to make a difference? Uh, frankly, right. we haven't uh, seen uh, the light at the end of the tunnel. It's my understanding you were in the meeting with the Congressional Hispanic Caucus and Chief of Staff John Kelly. I was. What was, give me your version of events. There seems to be the president says that John Kelly's words aren't what it was reported. What can you, what can you tell us about what happened in that meeting? Well, I think the president was wrong in terms of John Kelly's words. I think they were reported accurately. Uh, the president uh, is uh, inclined to deny words that he says, uh, much less what anybody else said, uh, minutes after they're said. Uh, so that I think that's simply not credible. I think General Kelly came into the meeting. I thought it was a positive uh, step for him to take to ask to meet with the Hispanic Caucus, uh, go through uh, border security, and, and, have, and hear from the Hispanic uh, uh, Caucus how important it was uh, to do what 86 percent of America thinks we ought to do, and that is uh, uh, make sure the Dreamers stay in the only country that they really know, America. There's another, uh, so that I think that was positive. Right. There's another specific that I had in there. According to the Washington Examiner, 
Apparently, Kelly also told you guys in that meeting that he's willing to sign a deal uh, that doesn't include the family migration issue, that basically punts the quote chain, the so-called chain migration debate to later. Did you hear that? I, I, I don't know that he, I, I don't want to say that because I don't remember him saying that specifically. I don't think okay. that's, uh, that's accurate. Uh, it was made clear to him, however, that uh, family reunification was an important American principle uh, and that uh, it was not to be negotiated away. And what was his reaction to that? Was that something he was... Uh, I, he, he didn't have much of a reaction other than to say, look, we think that's an issue that needs to be discussed. All right, you're in this group of number twos. Yes. Kevin McCarthy, Dick Durbin, John Cornyn. Correct. Um, let me ask you this. Why not, if the president wants funding for 700 miles more of fence in exchange for DACA, why, how is that not like a doable deal? Just straight up there? Uh, Look, we don't think the wall works. We don't think it's a good economic investment. And as a matter of fact, uh, uh, General Kelly did, in fact, uh, make comments on that, uh, where he said it may not be the wall that makes us uh, secure. It may be some other things. But he clearly made it, uh, he made it clear that the president was not talking about 2,000 mm -hmm. miles of wall. He was talking maybe 700 uh, miles of wall. Uh, the response to that, of course, is let's get a study from the Department of Homeland Security and experts as to what is in fact needed. I think, uh, I think we certainly can agree to that. Uh, that would be, uh, I think, a positive move, okay. way forward. Uh, so that uh, the, the wall well, in and of that's itself probably not enough is, for the president. we don't think a good. Well, it may not be, uh, but then uh, maybe it's too much for us. And as you pointed out, right. uh, the legislative process is compromised. So we may have to take something and he may have to take something. Now, the one thing, Chuck, I want to make yeah. a point is, I was also at the White House meeting with the president. In my view, 24 uh, members of the uh, Congress, well, actually 25 uh, members of Congress said, we want to take care of the DACA uh, protected uh, individuals. Right. 25. There was nobody said no to that. So uh, that's not a question of a deal. That's a question that the president agreed to that and everybody in the room agreed to it. Let's agree to it. Let's put it in paper, pass it and make it happen. Well, I think Lindsey Graham is looking for Tuesday Trump, just like you are. Anyway, Congressman yes. Steny Hoyer. Thanks, Chuck. Thank you, sir. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.